what's going on fam we are back with another video guys hey and today i want to talk to you about god's love more specifically just allowing him to show his love to you right show my love for you <laughs> nah but in all seriousness though guys uh the lord has just really been speaking to me on just the aspect of striving right um just to kind of lay some foundation i've always been a very performance driven person um i played sports all throughout my youth uh you know, I was competitive in CrossFit at one point in time, powerlifting. I was competitive, uh, you know, even in school. Right. I got my bachelor's and I went on to grad school afterwards. And I was always very performance driven, meaning that my results were a direct result of my efforts. You know, it's a discipline, you know, that type of thing, uh, choosing what you want most over what you want now and you know doing things that others are not willing to do today so you can do what they can't tomorrow like that was just mainly my mindset very performance based you know and a direct correlation between efforts and results and you know sometimes man sometimes i have a tendency to bring that into my relationship with the lord you know and it's like okay lord i'm, I'm doing good works right i tell myself lord i'm doing good works you know like i'm, I'm spreading the gospel and i'm you know I'm sharing my testimony and uh, I'm reading scripture. I'm going to church. Uh, you know, I'm doing all of these things, quote unquote. And none of these things are bad, right? That none of these things are bad. You know, going to the secret place and all of these things, they're very needed, you know, and none of them are bad, so to speak. But I was expecting, I was doing so, placing an expectation to receive more from him, specifically through provision, right? And what he just really had to highlight to me is that yes those things are good right they're not necessarily bad but if he rewarded me solely based on that effort then i would attach his provision to my efforts right and then he brought up to me john 3 16 and that's probably one of the most iconic verses right for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son those who believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life and he pointed out the object of my love is the world i gave to the world because i love not because i found favor in the eyes of the world <laughs> if anything <laughs> that's totally far from the reality right he said if you're friends with the world your enemy against the lord you know, uh, but he gave because he loved, not because the world did so many good works. And he was like, OK, OK, world, you've been doing your thing. I guess I'm going to send you my son now. You know, nah, it was simply from the basis that he gave because he loved. And so in my mind, I was doing and placing an expectation to receive more from him. Right. And he just had to like say, pump the brakes, bro. Pump the brakes real quick and realize this that I give because I love. And so if he had given to me based off my works, then it would prevent me from being able to see that he gives simply because he loves, you know. And um, that's one thing that I really had to inspect, right? Where are the, and you should too, right? And this is what I challenge you guys. I'm like, look at certain areas of your life and see potentially where you're just holding on to the situation so hard that is preventing from the work of the Lord and and him coming in to show you his love pertaining that situation um you're gripping it so tight that he can't even come in to show you how he wants to love on you pertaining that area of your life and so that's what I was doing in prayer I was just like Lord just reveal areas of my life that I still feel like I'm striving and I'm and it's performance driven and I'm doing, quote unquote, my best in order to receive more from you when really all you want to do is just love on me. All you want to do is just show your love for me. <laughs> and so that's the thing, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. This video not going to be too long, but essentially understand this. God loves. So he gives. It's not off our works. Right. And even Paul said, like, I'm not going to boast in my works. If anything, I'm going to boast about Christ because it's in Christ that we have righteousness. It's in Christ that we are redeemed. Right. It's the work of Christ. It's not even my work. It's the work that Christ did. 
you know? And so if I'm going to boast, I'm not going to boast about anything I did. I'm just going to boast about Christ. And so that's why he said that to take away the need for even wanting to boast because, you know, as, as human beings and living in our flesh and, and, um, unfortunately having ego, there are times where that ego becomes erect. And it's like, Oh, look at, look at all the amazing things that I'm doing. Oh, look at me spreading the gospel. Oh, look into, look at me preaching to the thousands, you know, look at me laying hands on the sick and healing them. Look at me prophesying and telling people's, uh, street address and all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And let, 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 you know, I don't want you guys to have the wrong impression. I love the spiritual gifts and they're definitely needed. You know, they're definitely needed to edify the body and build it up. But sometimes, sometimes, and I'm guilty of it myself. Sometimes we have a tendency to look at the things that we're doing in the name of Christ and, and uh, think that we should be rewarded based upon those efforts. Right. And as a result, that hinders God's ability to just love on us genuinely because he loves us. Right. And provide for us genuinely because he loves us. Right. You think about he gave his son, which is an act of provision. I gave you my only begotten son. I bankrupt heaven for you. I emptied everything that I possibly had in heaven for you. And I did that solely on a basis because I love you. Right. So. With that being said, guys, I know I said we're going to wrap it up prior, but we really going to wrap it up now. Um, just examine your life. Ask the Lord to reveal areas that um, he just genuinely wants to love on you and show his love for you. Right. And uh, and then the best thing to do after that is just get out the way. Right. Let go. Let God just get out of the way and just let him show you his love pertaining whatever situation or whatever circumstance you might be currently uh, facing right now. So, uh, with that being said, guys, I hope this video bless you as always stay prayed up, stay faithful, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.